Hello guys, good evening. Dito ngayon tayo sa Football Life Episode 2. At ako nga pala si Coach Mike para i-bring sa inyo yung kwentong buhay uh, ng ating bagong guest coach na si Coach Noel Marcaida. So, bago natin siya papasukin, okay, so, um, <clears throat> medyo hindi maganda yung nangyari di today kasi uh, we lost a uh, very important person in PFF. Um, uh, may her soul rest in, pe uh, rest in peace, Ma'am Manina. Napakabait na tao na every time nasa PFF ang uh, mga coaches, parati niyang binabate, parati niyang inaalok kung kumain ka na ba. So, napakabait na tao at malaking may tulong sa Philippine football. So, um, condolence po sa family na naiwan niya. Um, at ganun din yung mga natulungan din niya. At saka sa mga tao din na uh, yung tra tragedy sa Lebanon. Uh, napakabigat din nangyari yun na uh, isang malaking aksidente. Uh, we pray for the families uh, ng mga nasawi o yung mga fatal injuries. I hope na sa mga nangyaring to, eh, we, still, we still have to remain positive. I know it's really hard for all of those persons na, na, na involved dito. But uh, just have to keep on praying na um, yung mga tao na involved dito will be uh, healed by our by the uh, loving care of uh, our Lord. Okay, so ngayon, um, uh, ako nga pala ay magpapakilala din. Um, ginagawa po natin itong football life. Ang football life po kasi is football and uh, yung it's a way of life. No? So itong kwentong buhay, um, he talks about the awareness of uh, what's really happening right now. Okay, especially sa mga katulad namin coaches na walang work, saka sa mga players na hindi nakakapag-training. Okay? At the same time, ganun din yung mga tao na makapag-share ng mga expertise nila. Alright? So, batiin ko lang din yung family ko okay? sa mga Agbayani family. Okay? So, sa lahat ng mga coaches na nanonood, okay? uh, watch lang kayo. Don't forget later. Pati mga players na nanonood dyan, pwede kayong mag, mag question dun sa coach natin, na guest coach natin. Okay? Sa lahat ng mga players. Okay? Sa mga parents din ng mga nanonood na sumusuporta sa mga coaches at sa mga, sa mga players, hello din sa inyo. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching. Okay? Again, um, bago natin papasukin yung ating coach, uh, I will just uh, play commercial. Okay, so ngayon, uh, andyan na po ang ating guest coach, ating papasukin. Coach Noel Marcaida, all the way from Masbate. Okay. Hello, coach. Good evening. 
Good evening, Coach. Good evening, Coach. Kumusta? Okay naman. So, bago okay. kita pagkwentuhin, Coach, um, kailangan ko munang may share yung uh, napakagandang uh, profile mo. Okay. Uh, nung binabasa ko yung profile mo, kailangan kong piliin kung ano yung babanggitin ko sa kanila. No? Uh, really, uh, very... Sa totoo lang, iniisa-isa ko siya pero alam mo yun, kailangan na uh, piliin mo lang yung pinaka the best. Though lahat naman best, of course. Okay? Um, para sa lahat ng mga nonood, si Coach Noel uh, is a friend of mine for a long time. Hindi lang siya friend, naging coach ko, ko rin siya before nung college ako. So... Uh, Hindi ko nababagitin yung year. Okay, so um, yung coach natin is a native of Masbate. Okay, so uh, Masbate Pride. He is the GK Marks Academy Director and also now the Technical Director of Loyola FC. Okay, um, he's also an AFC GK instructor, um, the former head coach and goalkeeper coach of Kaya FC. He's also been in the national team for a long time and also being one of the trainers as a goalkeeper coach for the national team. So marami na siyang mga na-develop ng mga elite coaches at saka mga elite um, goalkeepers. So siya na yung ipag-share natin mamaya kung sino yung mga yun. Okay, so um, he has also attended uh, a lot of courses locally and abroad. At isa dun sa mga courses na natin nandiyan ay eh, yun sa Germany, no? sa Hennep, last 2013. He's is an AFC uh, A-license diploma holder. Uh, wag na natin patagalin. Let's welcome Coach Noel Marteda. Coach Noel, kumusta? Pinili ko na lang, Coach, ha? kasi yung ano, dami. <laughs> kumusta, kumusta? Good evening, Coach Mike. Um, okay naman, no? Um, eto nga, balik tayo sa MACQ. So, stay at home na ulit. No? Medyo stricto sa labas. Um, balik tayo doon sa kailangan mong may quarantine pass ulit pag lumabas ka. Okay. Um, better to stay safe. Hindi ka nga. Nakuha, di bali na sa bahay ka, basta siguradong safe ka at malayo ka doon sa, sa virus, no? Kasi mahirap din kung lalabas ka, di natin alam. Pagbalik natin sa bahay, may dala-dala tayo kung tayong virus yan. So, kawawa yung family natin, if ever. Okay. Coach, um, pakilala mo naman yung sarili mo. Baka meron kasi dyan na hindi pa nakakakilala sa'yo. Eh. Alam mo naman... Kami mga coaches, kilala ka na namin. Pero baka meron pang hindi nakakakilala kay Coach Noel Marquez. So, pwede i-share mo. Think ko parang na na nabanggit mo na rin lahat kasi pinili mo na nga. Eh, no? um, but anyway, um, yung sinabi mo kanina, meron kang sinabi na gusto kong i-retreat at uh, gusto kong i-klaruhin. No? Um, doon sa nabanggit ni Coach Mike kanina, um, isa doon, hindi Hindi pa. Okay? Hindi pa. Hindi, po, hindi pa po ako AFC goalkeeping instructor. Okay? Um, isa akong understudy. Okay. And um, I'm a PFF goalkeeper instructor. Pero when it comes to AFC, understudy pa rin po tayo. Um, noong 2016, um, hindi ko natuloy yung, yung regarding sa instructorship ng goalkeeping kasi um, nag-focus ako sa, sa club which is Kaya FC na. And um, yun. So aside from that, um, na-mention na rin, may isa po akong um, mas batenyo kaya yun po yung hometown ko. And um, to be honest, hindi rin po ako nag-start as a football player right away. Um, doon kasi sa lugar namin, um, pag nag-intramurals, um, district meet, provincial meet, yung football field, um, same venue yan yung baseball field namin. So, sa, ang, sa totoo lang, lahat ng football player that time, 
ng mas bate are baseball players. Okay, so ang ginagawa namin, pag baseball, di baseball kami laro. Then after baseball, mag-football na, football na naman ulit kami. So I started as a baseball player. Um, sa po akong pitcher, malakas po yung braso ko. <laughs> malakas magbato ng bola. Okay, so isa din sigurong bagay kung bakit pagdating sa goalkeeping, uh, nagkaroon ako ng, meron akong foundation when it comes to yung strength natin dun sa upper extremities natin. Okay, um, nagumpisa ako maglaro ng football as goalkeeper second year high school. So I think that's um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 years old. Okay, 12 years old ako nagumpisa. And straight na goalie na agad kasi yung batch ko wala talagang goalie that time. So, hindi naman ako marunong, marunong maglaro ng football and during that time, eh, pag hindi ka marunong mag-field doon ka sa football, sa, sa goalkeeper. So, yun ang kinagisnan ko na position. Na, oo, na position. So, goalkeeping na. Um, ano lang siya, um, raw talent, walang nagturo sa akin na maglaro ng goalkeeper. Mahilig lang talaga akong lumipad-lipad. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya yun na rin ang ko. Um, oh. So first game ko, um, meron kaming tournament um, during that year. Um, ang team ko noon is um, Boy, Boy Kappa ba yan? I, I forgot. I forgot kung ano yung, yung name ng team namin. So I started keeper. Ang first game namin, nagkaroon ng penalty. Nag-save ko ng penalty. Nakasave ko ng penalty right away. So, oh, sa tingin ko, yun yung... First penalty ko? Push, first... first penalty na save ko agad. So, yun yung... Oh, okay. Sa tingin ko, yun yung nag-joke sa akin. Ituloy-tuloy ko na yung yung pagiging goalkeeper ko. Coach, galing ha. Uh, hindi ko alam yung... Amo ha, uh, naging matagal kitang kaibigan. Pero, hindi ko alam na baseball player ka pala. Doon ka pala ng galing. Ah, ano naman tayo? Very athletic tayo. Eh, ano naman sa probinsya? Pag athletic ka, uh, marami kang sport na pwedeng salihan. Baseball talaga yung pinaka-sport ko. Then, sumunod yung football. Nag-track and field din. Nag-sepak takraw player. Nag-basketball <laughs> player. Nag-volleyball player. Um, sa track and field naman, ano lang, um, long jump. So, yun naman sinalihan natin. Yun lang yung sport natin. Long jump, saka... 15 meters. Matas ka kasi tumalon. Uh, sprints. Oh, matas tumalon. Yun naman ang puhunan. Pag maliit ka, kailangan matas ang tumalon. So, natural siya o win or count mo? Um, natural. Natural. Um, siguro dahil sa malikot lang talaga ako. Lagi ako nasa labas, gala sa kalye. Tapos laro lang ng laro. So, siguro somehow na-develop ko yung strength sa, sa paa ko develop ko yung spring all throughout. Unconsciously, nade-develop ko siya. Okay. Coach, bago tayo mag-proceed doon sa mga magagandang questions natin, baka gusto mo mag-shout out doon sa mga nanonood sa atin. Sa lahat ng mga um, fans mo. <laughs> Meron ba akong fans? Ikaw talaga. Sa lahat po ng mga nanonood dito sa Football Life ni Coach Mike, um, good evening sa lahat. Shout out sa wife ko nanonood, si Lovell. Okay, Coach Roxy, good evening. Um, Nestor, Coach Nestor, Coach Jojo Tulosa, um, MC Blanco, uh, Antonio Espinosa, Coach Anthony, kababayan ko, Coach Brent. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. And uh, please stay tuned. At um, sabi ni Coach Mike, interesting daw yung mga question niya sa akin. So we'll see. Oh, meron din tayo bang mga nanonood, no? no? Yung sa mga nabanggit ni Coach. Uh, Siyempre, yung si Coach Ryan Paison, no? Player mo rin to sa CSB. Okay. Uh, si Coach Jovan. Galing yan. Okay. One of the best left footer. Yes, yes. Coach Jovan Villagracia. Hi, Coach Jovan. Coach, Coach Jovan. Okay, so, yung mga iba dito, mga students ko rin sa academy. Uh, anyways, my academy is nemesis, no? Uh, as, along with Coach Noel, he do goalkeeping online sessions. Ako rin, meron din. Okay, so, 
Ayun, nandiyan sila. Uh, Janrik Soriano, nanonood din. Hi, Coach Janrik. Congratulations sa baby. Congratulations sa baby mo. Ayan, nanonood sila. Okay, so proceed tayo, Coach. Nang tatanong ko to minsan eh, pero minsan parang naiilang akong tanongin to sa'yo eh. Pero ngayon, parang may opportunity na akong tanongin sa'yo ngayon. Okay, at least malaman din ng mga nanonood. Kasi katulad kanina, meron akong may tanong sa'yo, nagpapakilala mo pa lang, hindi ko alam na doon ka pala nang galing. Sa ka palang uh, nagsimula ka as a baseball player. So, kumusta ka pala, Coach, during the quarantine? Ano yung, uh, ano yung pinagkabala mo during the quarantine? Diyan sa barangay nyo, kumusta? Ano bang status dyan? Well, dito sa amin, um, strict pag lumabas ka dun sa highway, pero dito sa uh, village, um, sa village namin, di maiwasan. Meron pa rin talagang mga lumalabas na hindi nakamask. No, may mga lumalabas pa rin na high curfew na nandiyan pa rin sa labas, nagalakad-lakad pa rin. So, um, tayo, um, ang sa atin naman is talagang unahin natin yung safety natin. Um, buti ngayon, wala ng checkpoint katulad ng dati. No, so, somewhat it's modified nga. Hindi katulad ng ACQ na talagang very strict sila. So, ngayon, sama merong medyo maluwag medyo maluwag konti um, since quarantine since quarantine coach ang pinagkaabalahan ko na is the online session um, after six weeks sa Goyola Academy uh, makala namin hindi tatagal ng ganito so ang ginawa namin yung first six weeks ng quarantine kung na-declare yung quarantine, ang ginagawa namin is we're just giving a weekly assignment doon sa players namin. So, nung tumagal siya, then napag-usapan namin na mag-run na lang din kami ng uh, online session. Yung pinaka-objective is to help out yung coaches natin. Kasi ang coaches natin is on a no-work, no-pay status eh. So, since na lahat naman is um, affected dito sa pandemic na to, so, napag-usapan din. And um, pagdating sa online session, ano, yung very, yung, yung rate ng fees sa online session is hindi katulad dun sa face-to-face. Sa -face. Okay, yung actual normal na ginagawa natin sa session sa field. So dito sa online session, tinatap namin yung technical na aspeto ng development, um, physical, uh, tactical, um, psychological, saka yung social uh, aspect ng development ng mga bata natin. So pagdating sa technical practices namin, Um, ang content namin is nilalagyan namin siya ng uh, physical and technical workout. Tapos naglaan kami ng isang session for the tactical and uh, the psychological aspect of goalkeeping. Uh, ginawa namin siya para at least tuloy-tuloy yung development ng mga players ng Loyola FC and at the same time, yung program mismo ng Loyola is uh, hindi maging stagnant. Okay? Uh, maganda yung coach, maganda yung process na ginawa ninyo no? kasi systematic siya. Okay, so na yung yung continuation ng program nandiyan pa rin. Okay, at least uh, active pa rin yung mga players nyo para sharp pa rin sila. Anytime mag restart yung yung sports ready to go agad yung mga players natin kumbaga. Along with the coaches, of course. So, kasi nakita ko not only the players ang active eh, pati ikaw eh. No? You're also doing those sessions na of course you have to demonstrate. That's ano, very important. Kumusta coach well, ikaw? Napaka-important. Well coach, napaka-importante na tayong gawin dito sa um, sa sitwasyon na meron tayo. No? Hindi pwedeng 
um, wala tayong ginagawa. We have to make sure na we keep ourselves busy. Okay? Kasi um, katulad ng mga nabangkit ko sa mga ibang kausap ko, uh, hindi lang naman yung virus yung kalaban natin dito. Okay? Um, kalaban din natin dito is depression and anxiety. So for us na para maiwasan natin yung ganun, kailangan natin maging busy. Okay, so naging busy ako through online session. At the same time, sinasabayan ko na rin ang workout ko sa sarili ko. Parang ganyan 15 ba? minutes. Mga 15. <laughs> Matagal na to ah. This was 2000, <laughs> 2013, 2011. Ang tagal na yan, coach. Parang ganyan ba yung workout mo? Grabe yung mga catching well, mo dun eh. Well, ano lang yan. Um, hindi na naman natin kailangan talagang magpaka... Yung sobrahan yung workout. Yung sa atin lang is maintenance lang. No, maintenance lang. Um, ako naman, minimake sure ko sa sarili ko na coordinated pa rin ako. Tama, tama, uh, tama. So tama. marami akong ginagawang exercises, challenges na ang focus is yung coordination ng paa, kamay, tsaka um, mata. So, which is very important for, for goalkeeping. How about your family coach? Okay naman sila? Wala namang ano? Oh. Um, yeah, okay. We're good. We're fine. Um, safe lahat. Ito medyo naninibago nagiging busy na kasi nag-uumpisa na yung online classes eh. Okay, so, balik doon sa sitwasyon na you have to wake up early, you have to monitor yung yung online classes ng mga anak mo kasi iba na talaga eh. I mean, they have to, you really have to assist them sa pag-sign in, sa pag-log in ng mga accounts. And at the same okay. time, uh, ligaguide mo sila kung paano paano i-operate yung Google Google Meet, Google Classroom, Classroom. yung mga Classroom. platforms nila. So, yun. Um, so, nagiging busy ng gusto kasi sa morning, online schooling ng mga bata and sa afternoon is yung online session ko naman pagdating sa goalkeeping. Which is good kasi somehow yung normal na ginagawa natin before mag, before nitong pandemic na from early morning, gising na tayo, nag exercise ng nagtatrabaho, um, nagagawa na ulit siya. Going back to normal yung, yung routine. Uh, pero yung... Nabang, nab- um, you're, you're adapting the new normal setup. Tama, tama. Coach, nabanggit mo yung online kanina eh. So, sa tingin mo, um, paano mo sinimulan yung online? Kasi, alam ko, Yan yung ano, talagang way of source of income natin yan. I mean, uh, paano mo siya sinimulan? Uh, ano yung mga challenges mo na na-experience habang ginagawa mo yung online sessions? Well, una, um, yung umpisa is planning talaga. You have to plan modules, um, then you have to use social media on your program. Diba? Kailangan mag-create ka muna ng awareness doon sa gagawin mong social uh, gagawin mong online session. Okay, so yun yung una-una kong gina um, pagdating naman sa online session, yung unang challenges is yung connection. Napakahirap pag yung connection mo is mababa. I think sa ngayon nga we're experiencing uh, we're experiencing a uh, poor connection, I think. Konte, konte, ah, meron. No? Meron okay naman. May delay tsaka may mga glitch sa konte. But anyway, so yan yung mga yan yung una-unang um, challenge na may experience mo. Um pangalawa diyan is um pag umulan, no? Pag umulan ah. ang hirap ng connection. Okay, napakahirap ng connection. So kailangan pag nagre-run ka ng session, kailangan meron kang backup, meron kang alternate. So aside from yung Wi-Fi mo, kailangan naka-ready yung data mo for hotspot, no? Para hindi ka mawala sa connection. Then, pag nag-run ka ng session, um, may mga moment na pag isang angulo lang ang ipapakita mo sa screen, may mga students na hindi mo, hindi masyadong maintindihan. Okay? So, mas mainam, mas mainam na pag nagkanda ka ng session mo, meron kang dalawang side, dalawang view. So, let's say front saka yung back or front saka yung side para makita nila yung different angle para mas maliwanag sa kanila kung ano yung gagawin. 
I started coach with sessions na ang ginagawa ko is after aside from planning pagdating ng session yung on the spot ikaw gagawa mismo ng um, ng session on the spot i demonstrate mo or explain mo yun yung unang approach ko for the first two months ngayon um sinusubukan ko ngayon yung approach na you have to come up with a video ahead of time you have to demonstrate ahead of time if video mo sarili mo then you have to make a powerpoint Ah, yeah. Para at least pagdating ng session mo, i-flash mo na lang yung PowerPoint and habang na-flash yung PowerPoint, explain mo. Yung advantage nito is na doon ka sa screen and monitor mo yung mga students mo kung talagang very, kung attentive sila o kung nakatingin sila doon sa, sa video na pinapakita mo. Kasi may mga moment na nag, kung on the spot na nag na demonstrate kapag nade-demonstrate ka sa mga instances actually, mostly pag meron kang mga 5, 6 or more than students, habang nade-demonstrate ka may mga students na hindi nakatingin sa demonstration okay, so uulit-ulitin mo na siya so yung advantage nitong naka-powerpoint ka, pag na-flash mo may kita mo mismo din sa screen mo kung sino yung mga hindi attentive doon sa pinapakita mo so mas madali siyang Pag, when it comes to monitoring, mas madali siya. Okay? okay? So, yun yung advantage. So, yun yung nagiging approach ko sa ngayon. So, PowerPoint. Um, yun nga lang, uh, when it comes to preparation, mas malaki yung time na kinakain when it comes to preparation kasi you have to video, you have to edit, you have to crop the, ng video bago mo siya gawing PowerPoint. Yeah. Um, actually, so, yun yung, yun yung challenge. Yun, yun, actually, yun sana yung sasabihin ko kasi... Kasi I'm also doing that. So, pag ginawa mo siyang ganyan, talagang mas matrabaho siya. Mas matagal siya compared dun sa regular na preparation, which is you have to plan. And then during the session, diba, they will observe, you will demonstrate, and then after you demonstrate, they will execute. After they execute, then you observe. Pag meron nakitang mistake, that's the time you arrest the problem. Tapos try mo i-demonstrate. Ang mahirap kasi doon, Coach, pag ikaw ang nag-demonstrate on the spot, pagod ka eh. Agree, so, agree. Pagod ka. So, pag babalik ka sa screen mo, medyo disturb o medyo nadidistract ka pagdating sa monitoring. So, unlike pag nag-flash ka ng um, pag nag-flash ka ng PowerPoint, ng video na recorded mo na, um, mas madali and mas, mas magagampanan mo yung coaching side. Okay, magiging productive yung coaching side mo kasi makakabato ka ng mga points, makaka-monitor ka, makaka-inspect ka ng maayos kung tama ba yung ginagawa ng players o hindi. So, mas madali siyang i-handle. Yun nga lang. Pero siguro, part na rin sa atin as coaches is, is once na gumawa ka ng plano is you really have to give time. Kailangan mo talagang, kailangan mo paglaanan ng oras for you to, to, to have a good session. So, I think yung yung difference lang na humaba yung preparation mo, I think it's a challenge pero we as coaches, kailangan natin siyang tanggapin kasi it's part of our learning and it's it's our responsibility nakuha, na to really make or to really have a good session plan nakuha, para yung yung students natin is mag-enjoy and at the same time maging productive yung session nila. Yeah, true. Actually, uh, very important na banggit mo, Coach, yung it should be fun. Kasi unang-una, okay, um, considering na of what is happening right now, di ba, yung negativity outside, kailangan talaga yung session natin, we just don't deliver the session eh, per se. So para sa lahat ng mga coaches na nanonood, importante, we have to make the session fun. Aside from making it fun, it should be challenging. No? Like yung pinapakita ni Coach Noel sa mga videos niya, the challenges. Okay. Babanggit mo nga yung coach, ano, ano yung out of that, that uh, videos na pinapakita mo sa social media? Uh, anong behind that uh, challenges? Pwede mo so, pag-explain yung, yung, sa kanila? Yung, yung challenges kasi na yun, um, kung i-compile mo yung mga challenges na lilagay ko, pwede mo na siyang gawing workout eh. O, I mean, ang pina-flash ko ng mga challenges is just a very short clip, 30 seconds or a one minute clip. Pwede mo siya gawing workout eh. I mean, let's say, yung last ko na ginawa is, ang focus noon is um, hand 
um, feet and eye coordination. So kung yung exercise na yun is gagawin mo ng, ng three sets of 30 seconds, may demand siya. Meron na siyang demand. So somehow, um, magiging, pwede mo na siyang maging routine. So I've naglagay ako ng 15 challenges na kahit kumuha ka lang ng lima doon, gawin mong three sets each and 30 seconds each exercises with 15 to 20 seconds rest. Solve ka na eh. Pwede mo nang maging routine siya for the whole week. Then, kuha ka naman ulit ng limang challenge na gagawin mo naman for the next week. I mean, pwedeng-pwede na siya eh. Um, the reason kung bakit ko ginagawa siya kasi hindi mo kailangan ng malaking space para magkaroon ka ng um, challenges for goalkeeping, para magkaroon ka ng exercise for goalkeeping. Kailangan mo lang na area na 2 by 2 kailangan mo lang ng bola, um, any markers will do, uh, kailangan mo lang ng wall. So yun lang, pwede na. Solve ka na eh. um, Ginagawa ko siya para magkaroon ng awareness and also to give an idea doon sa mga nasa social social media na mga goalkeepers natin and coaches as well. Okay? Na kung ano-ano yung pwede, pwede nilang gawin. Okay? I'm not saying na yun lang yung gagawin nila pero somewhat you're giving them an idea kung ano yung pwede nilang gawin. Pwede nilang out of that challenges na binigay ko pwede nilang mag-create ng sarili nilang challenges. No? So, it's one way of um, giving them the idea. It's one way of creating awareness sa goalkeeping. Okay? And um, making sure that our goalkeepers are are still working despite dito sa sitwasyon na meron tayo. Uh, Coach, uh, regarding dun sa training session, no? I mean, uh, goalkeepers watching, coaches watching, um, what are the equipments talaga na Sa tingin mo ba, bola lang, okay na? Baka kasi may nag-iisip dyan eh. Di ba? May mga goalkeepers yan. Bola lang ba, okay na coach? Or meron ka bang kailangan pang ibang mga gamit? Para... Well, aside, aside from football, meron akong exercises na ginagamit. Tennis ball, kaya yung maliliit na bola. Um, usually, you can, you can create um, an exercise with the tennis ball. Okay, that will develop your um, eye and hand coordination and at the same time to improve your grip. Okay, simple exercise na you have a tennis ball on your right hand, ibato mo siya doon sa wall, okay, and sasaluin with the same hand. Okay, so yung pagsalu ng bola, kailangan mo, mag, kailangan mo i-timing yung movement ng hand mo sa pagsalu ng bola para ma-improve mo yung grip mo. Okay? Pwede rin throw the ball from your right hand, then you catch it with the other hand. So somehow, aside from your working on the hand and eye coordination, somehow yung pagsalu mo ng bola, kasi maliit siya, so yung motion na pag-grip mo ng mold ball, that will help your grip doon sa malaking bola. That's what, um, yun yung aspecto. So hindi lang siya football. Pati small ball. Kung wala kang mga football, you can use a tennis ball. Kung wala kang tennis ball, then you can use a rolled socks. Okay? Meron kang socks dyan na makapal o may socks ka na malaki. I-rolled mo siya, then pwede na siyang gawing bola. Pwede mong i-throw, then saluin. Pwede mong i-throw, then saluin. Okay? Um, I'll be posting video pagdating sa coordination na merong maliit na bola. Okay, so uh, abang-abangan lang natin yan sa, um, sa Instagram mo, kasi magiging challenge mo, din yan. Baka gusto mo i-plug din, Coach, yung channel mo. Ah, okay. Um, wala pa ako masyadong post sa YouTube channel ko, no? Unlike um, Coach Mike and Coach Aris, ang dami na nilang pinopost na mga videos and very interesting videos. Um... So, sa YouTube channel ko, uh, Coach Noel GK Marks TV. So, sa mga nanonood, if you have a YouTube channel or may ligay mo YouTube, 
Um, please subscribe on my YouTube channel. It's uh, Coach Noel, JK Marks TV. Uh, meron na ako na post na dalawang videos ng goalkeeping. Meron mga videos na parating. Okay? And most of my videos is uh, mga, mga challenges siya. Okay? Um, yung when it comes to paano yung goalkeeper pinaka basic ano yung starting position paano i-improve yung starting position um, parating din okay kung paano yung detalye ng scooping paano yung detalye ng capping ng w shape blocking 1v1 ano yung detalye paano mag deal ng high balls um, on process on process okay gagawin natin ubo post natin sa YouTube channel yan so doon sa mga goalkeepers and uh, parents and um, football players, kahit hindi goalkeepers, kahit anong sport, yung ipopost natin na uh, coordination exercises, pwedeng gawin kahit hindi goalkeepers. It will really help a lot. It comes to coordination. And it's not being worth it. Um, it will help or it will help our brain to work. Okay? So, yun siya. Um, abang-abangan lang natin. Yun, abangan natin yan. Ano, ay singit pa yun, ha? Di ba? <laughs> Sabi mo, eh. Pero, pero okay yung coach. I mean, kaya kaya ko talaga, ano na yun, para at least, syempre, di ba? Uh, nandito tayo para magtulungan, para makita ng lahat kung ano yung pinag, uh, ginagawa natin para may share yung knowledge natin despite all what's happening in this uh, world, no? Very important. Pero, at ibabalik ko ulit doon sa session coach kasi maganda yung topic natin. Um, ako na experience ko yung mga struggles niya pagdating sa pag pag uh, pag set up. Since nagsi-shoot ka ng YouTube, eh, ano yung mga challenges mo? Kasi syempre magsi-shoot ka gagawa ka. Syempre, sabi mo nga kailangan mo ng angle. Ikaw rin ba yung director? Ikaw rin ba yung actor? Well, ganoon kasi hindi naman tayo yung well ako um experience ko kasi hindi ko naman siya kinakarir katulad niya ni coach ni coach uh, Aris na talagang career na career na kayo no halos halos sa isang linggo na kapost ng dalawa tatlong video no naglalaanan ng mga 12 hours sa pag-edit ng video ibang klase saludo ako sa inyo partner okay so yung ano yung challenge sa paggawa ng video so ako ginagawa ko may mga time na ginagawa ko siya magisa Okay, so gamit ang cellphone and um, isa, a tripod. Okay, so there are moments na isi-set up mo, then estimate mo yung camera, tama ba yung distansya, may kita ba yung buong katawan. Okay, tapos ikaw yung mag-click and at the same time, di ba? So ikaw yung, ikaw na yung mag edit ikaw na yung director, lahat ikaw eh. <laughs> so mahirap mahirap siya and um ma hindi kasi pwedeng isa ang gulo lang ipapakita mo so may dadating yung mga moment na talagang babago-baguhin mo yung setup mo no ang kagandahan lang diyan kasi talagang ano i mean nakikita kung meron ka talagang potential maging director no sa so, tingin ko kailangan on process pa ako eh kailangan ko pang pag-aralan ng gusto eh no, hindi pa ako marunong umarte. Hindi ko pa kaya yung ginagawa niyo coach na merong salita. Ako hanggang ano lang ako, hanggang hanggang text lang muna, you know? Wala muna yung salita-salita. Actually, uh, importante naman doon coach yung content. Okay? Yung content naman yung mahalaga. Ang importante, um, may deliver natin yung message doon sa mga nanonood. No? Kasi nga yun yung way of communication, this is the new normal. No, I mean, uh, even nasa bahay sila, kailangan ma maintindihan nila kung ano yung drills na gusto natin iparating. Okay, yun yung, ano, yun yung uh, contribution natin as coaches. No, doon tayo sa next question, Coach. Sino yung, sino yung goalkeeper na favorite mo? Meron ka ba? Sino yung player? idol mo na goalkeeper? Player. player. Uh, tapos after the player, sino yung goalkeeper coach na tinitingala mo rin? As your idol. Pag, pag, pagdating sa player, ako talaga, I'm a fan of uh, Manu. New Year. Okay? Um, 
before before kasi na na before siya nagkaroon ng injury um when it comes to modern goalkeeping kasi siya talaga yung unang-unang uh, I would say uh, for me uh, my, sa opinion ko siya yung goalkeeper talaga na complete package I would say uh, um when it comes to physique nasa kanya okay uh, matangkad very long yung reach niya um well coordinated um very flexible okay i was given a chance na makakapanood ng game niya nung pumunta ako sa nung pumunta kami ni coach Lelep to attend the course uh, sa NF nanood kami ng isang game nila um i was really amazed how kung paano siya mag mag warm up very flexible yung content ng warm, warming up niya is really focused on flexibility Okay, uh, very flexible. Hindi mo akalain yung yung tangkad niyang yun. Um, ibang klase yung flexibility niya. Okay, um, bakit siya yung inidulo ko as goalkeeper? Kasi, yun yung mention ko nga, complete package. Um, when it comes to modern goalkeeping, um, distribution-wise, um, very accurate. You can rely him on um, building up, okay? If his defender uh, is under pressure, you, you can rely on playing the ball back at him. This is really good in playing with his feet, which is very important. And dahil sa ganyan, dahil sa ganyan, um, yung, yung team niya, okay, which is the Bayern Munich, yung team niya, pag siya yung nasa goal, very confident yung mga defenders niya to really go high up and involve in attack. Okay? Yung mga defenders niya, very, very confident na iiwan yung dalawang center back plus money um, to, to cover yung malaking space. Bakit kasi? Si Manu kasi siya yung isang goalkeeper na kung pag-uusapan natin yung reach ng isang goalkeeper, yung space na tinatrabaho ng isang goalkeeper sa field, I would say si Manu yung malaki ang kinocover ng space. Okay? So, yan yung isang aspeto kung bakit napaka-confident ng depensa ng Bayern. And they were very, very attacking-oriented na yung dalawang wingbacks nila are really helping out to attack. It's because of the capability of Manu. Sweeper okay? keeper. Sweeper keeper. Sweeper keeper, yes. And tactical-wise, is very good on... The, his tactical understanding is very, very good. Football intelligence is very high as goalkeeper. Okay. Coach, um, as ano, as a goalkeeper coach, meron ka bang idol? Goalkeeper or? coach? I would say na ang goalkeeper coach na pinakagusto ko is si Yoshi Okato from Japan. Okay, um, I think um, if I'm not mistaken, it's almost um, 60, close to 60 years old. Okay, I was able to attach um, one of his, um, actually two FIFA goalkeeping courses. Okay, um, he's not the goalkeeper coach or instructor who's really, who's best at uh, theory. Okay, but when it comes to field, or demonstration, mapapamangha ka sa kanya. Okay? Kasi he's really fit and he's really on the spot. Always spot on pag nag-demonstrate na exercises when it comes to goalkeeping. Distribution-wise, the strength, the physique, the technique and catching is still there. Despite doon sa, sa age niya. And um, lahat ng goalkeepers na nakikinig ngayon, and lahat ng goalkeeper coaches na kilala ko and nag-undergo dyan kay coach Yoshio Kato sa courses niya, masasabi na talagang he's, he's really best. He's really the best goalkeeper coach, I would say, pagdating sa field demonstration. Yes. Okay, so yan si Yoshio Kato, um, Japanese uh, goalkeeper. He played for national team as well. Now he's really attached with JFA, working on their uh, U13, U15 goalkeepers national team. Okay, so ito yung maganda sa Japan, Japan setup. Kasi yung mga goalkeeper coaches nila na senior, 
yun yung nagmo-monitor ng goalkeepers nila sa mababang age category. Okay? Which is, which I agree. Which I agree. Kasi etong mga senior goalkeepers, eto na yung malaki yung experience. Eto na yung may maraming experience pagdating sa goalkeeper. Alam na nila kung ano yung level ng goalkeeper na kailangan pagdating sa senior level. So dito pa lang sa grassroots and sa youth category of goalkeeping, doon nila nilalagay yung mga senior goalkeepers nila to really work on the form, to really work on the details of goalkeeping. So maganda siya. Maganda siya. Um, so do you think uh, do you think coach pwede natin i ano dito yun sa Pilipinas yung ganung approach? Pwede pwede ma-adapt. Pwede siyang ma-adapt, no? Um I would say na napaka-importante. Yung approach na ginagawa nila is very important pagdating sa development ng mga bata. Okay? Um kasi pag senior goalkeepers, pag malaki na yung experience o pag matagal experience mo sa goalkeeping, madali ka na lang mag-adjust eh. Um, kahit sabihin natin meron kang inaandal na goalkeepers sa different team, kaya mong i-adjust sa sarili mo. Okay? Yun yung kailangan i-develop ng mga goalkeeper coaches na baguhan. Okay? Kasi um, lalo na dito sa atin, may mga moment pa rin na nagsasabay-sabay yung mga goalkeepers na iba-ibang kategory. Di ba? So dumadating sa punto na yung exercises is iisa. Which is hindi pwede. Di ba? Bawat kategory, there's an appropriate exercises for them. Okay? Yung 9 years old pababa, hindi pwede yung puro diving yung ituro mo dyan. Katulad ng tinuturo mo sa yung 16, yung 17 goalkeepers. Okay? So kailangan kailangan, ano siya, kailangan, there's a certain topic sa bawat kategory na kailangan nilang matutunan. Okay? Um, hindi pwedeng jump ka lang into different topics in the end um, na, 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 na nagde-develop ng mga bata yung bad habits nila and at the same time nagkakaroon ng injury. It's because of, of um, a not appropriate approach. Very important talaga yung coach yun. No? I mean, uh, tama yung sinabi mo na uh, as, al al along with the planning, kailangan you have to plan the exercise specifically for that specific age group. Kasi kung hindi, injuries ang kalalabasan. No? Importante yan. Kasi yes. baka may mga coaches tayong nanonood ngayon dito, um, pati yung mga players, ha? may mga players na nanonood dyan, Okay, don't be too eager to go for diving. Baka naman you're still very young and then you're going after diving. Okay, so katulad ng sinasabi ni Coach Toel, merong age group yung saan yung dapat matutunan. So parang ladder pa rin siya, Coach Toel. Tama? Kailangan yes, step I agree, step, Coach. Step by step. Okay, Coach, bali, um, bali yung pinaka, -impor pinaka most important experience mo, Coach, as a goalkeeper, Coach, before going into a head coach role doon sa kaya? For ang um, um, pinaka-importante experience ko pagdating sa goalkeeping is yung first year ko with um, Kaya FC. Okay, sa so tingin ko, um, doon, doon din ako na-test as a goalkeeper coach. Kasi nung pumasok ako sa Kaya FC um, during my first year, ang goalkeeper ko that time is from Australia. Okay, in a foreigner goal, uh, goalkeeper, a foreigner player. Um, and um, he, he always demand for, for quality session. Okay, he always demand for a, a productive session. Okay, and hindi lang yun. Um, much a challenge ka in such a way na ito yung tipong goalkeeper na hindi siya napapagod. Yung tipong goalkeeper na never complains kung ano yung pagagawa mo as long na akma siya doon sa topic and sa concept na tinuturo mo, susundin at susundin niya. Okay? Bakit ako naging, bakit yun ang pinaka-importante ng um, career ko sa goalkeeping is because we know naman um, if a foreigner player, especially an Australian player, we're expecting more. These are goalkeepers na lagi kang may maririnig sa kanila. 
and lagi silang may sasabihin and lagi silang magtatanong. Okay? So, yun ang very challenging sa goalkeeping ko kasi there's a lot of Q&A. Okay? Um, maraming questions. Okay? What if, what if, puro may what if. Diba? So, kailangan as goalkeeper coach, you have to be ready to answer back. Okay? In a nice way and at the same time, ma-explain mo sa kanila mga, ng maayos. Okay? So, yun yung, yun yung iba. Kasi na itinaas talaga yung mataas yung level. Now, yung second year naman na ko with um, as goalkeeper coach with, with with Kaya is meron akong mga Filipino goalkeepers na. Okay? Filipino goalkeepers. Um, very challenging naman siya kasi yun yung goalkeepers na meron kang very experienced goalkeepers, goalkeeper, meron kang goalkeeper then na uh, experience when it comes to youth exposure international, then meron kang goalkeeper na with less experience sa international, but ha- were able to address his development or improve his development on a club-based setup. Okay, so isa masasabi kong masaya, masaya din siya na progress, okay? And um, I'm very happy yung second year ko kasi sa tatlong local goalkeepers na meron ko to mention, Ref Coresma, Ace Villanueva, and Zach Banson. Um, Ila ba yan, Coach? Yun yung, yun yung tatlong goalkeeper na never stops. They always uh, fight for, for the number one spot spot. They always push each other. So, ang nangyayari is talagang all of them improves. And lagi ko nga sinasabi na yung tatlong goalkeeper na yun is um, they deserve. Okay? Zach Banson, Ace Villanueva, and Ref Quaresma during that year, they deserve to start the game. And I think I was successful successful that time kasi talagang nabigyan ko sila ng, ng, ng time to play nabigyan ko sila ng time, nabigyan ko sila ng exposure to play or to be a starting goalkeeper at at a, at a professional level. Okay? And I'm happy for them now kasi they still working hard. Okay? With the addition of um, Michael Casas. Okay? Also a very experienced goalkeeper. Okay? And um, sila yung tipong goalkeeper na if you really wanted to improve um, goalkeeping and you really wanted to go at that level, these goalkeepers are examples. Okay, example kung paano sila magtatrabaho, okay, on and off the pitch kung paano nila tinatrabaho yung sarili nila. Very disciplined, okay, yung social life nila, um, lifestyle nila outside the pitch is very di- uh, very disciplined talaga. Uh, monitored kung ano yung kinakain nila, yung rest nila, um, extra workout, lagi nilang ginagawa yan. Kaya pagdating sa training session, may kita mo yung fire nila to train always there. Um, narinig ko, no? binanggit mo coach, uh, para sa mga nanonood, uh, coach Noel is talking about the professional level, huh? coaches, mga players. Um, yung sinabi ni coach, even in that very high level, the discipline. Okay? So kung yung mga professional level players na nabanggit ni coach were doing these extra workouts, what more tayong mga nagde-develop pa lang? Tama coach? Agree. Yung mga nagde-develop pa lang, no? um, I think hindi naman natin kailangan ng monitor always with the coach. Hindi kailangan na monitor tayo ng coach. We can do our extra workouts, extra training, especially if may mga kakulangan tayo, like for a, for a goalkeeper or for a field player. So marami ngayon mga uh, ginagawa yung mga coaches, pati yung mga nasa abroad din. Um, yun na, I mean, Pwede natin i-click lang, eh. type lang natin sa YouTube. We can already access. For example, we are weak on our left foot, on our right foot. Diba? Nandiyan na yung mga, mga basic kung paano gawin yung mga exercises. So, ngayon coach, yung transition naman niya going to being a head coach of the team. Mahirap ba siya? May, ano yung mga challenges mo? Siyempre, magkaibang role na to eh. From goalkeeper into a head coach uh, Position. Mahirap, mahirap kasi you're not just dealing players or you're not just dealing the team tactically. 
Okay, you're dealing a uh, different characteristic of a player. Okay, so napaka-importante na kailangan as head coach malalaman mo yung yung character ng mga players mo. Okay, kung anong meron sila. I mean, kung ano yung personalidad nila. Yun yung kailangan mo malaman. Unang-una, you have to establish a, a good relationship with the players. Okay? Importante yun. Um, on the managing side naman, you have to make sure that you're closely uh, in touch with the management. Okay? Um, isang bagay nga pa, importante siya. Um, pero uh, masasabi ko, with my experience, I would say um, marami akong natutunan. Okay, when it comes to paano kung may improve yung pag-manage ng team and at the same time um, pag-manage ng individual players. Okay, kasi you're not just about to manage individual aspect, eh, pati yung, yung, yung team. So it's a, whole, it's a kabuuan eh. Okay, and um, it's on and off the pitch management, hindi lang sa training. Um, one that will really na hindi ko talaga maalimutan and looking forward if I will be given a chance again to handle a team napaka importante sa akin yung pag maghahawak ako ng team as head coach I have to make sure that I have my own staff I have to choose my staff okay mahirap kasi yung you have a plan then someone doesn't want the plan. And when you go to a discussion, tapos um, hindi ka na makakarinig ng, ng insight because one of your personal doesn't like your plan, then doon, 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 ka, na, doon ka mababahala. Eh. No? Doon ka mababahala. So, doon, doon, doon. Yun yung, yung, yun yung uh, pinaka-learning ko. Okay? If you really wanted to handle a team, if you're a head coach, you have to make sure that um, everything is on your back. Okay? Everyone is on your back. Everyone is at your back, willing to support. So, ganun siya. Coach, um, pero despite of those uh, challenges, no, uh, you are able to bring up this uh, victory no, sa team mo. Pwede mo ba may bang, uh, may share coach? Kasi I think uh, kayo yung nag-represent ito, Paulino Alcantara, right? 2018. Cup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think ano lang siya eh, um, despite of the challenges, um, stay, staying positive is one. Okay, kaya siguro na kaya na maintain at na maintain pa rin namin ng Kaya FC na maging part ng AFC Cup is because despite of the challenges um, players are still able to stay positive and um, um, able to get that spot to be back in AFC just um medyo short lang kasi hindi rin nakuha at hindi na maintain yung Copa. Uh, but I would say still a uh, it's still a success despite of those challenges. Um, mm -hmm. The question is if we could have done better, yes, we could have done better. Okay? Um, kaya naman siyang kunin actually. Pero in the long run, merong mga experiences na, or challenges or may mga difficulties na na-encounter that I think also affect psychologically. But I, um, I would say um, thanks we we still give that uh thanks to god and it's a blessing that um we're the, the team were still able to manage and um back on track to the afc that's good that's good coach uh very well said no i mean uh uh maraming mga factors talaga uh, despite all those challenges you were able to pull through you know? ganun naman yung mga ano natin as coaches eh um yung mga small details kailangan mas subukan tayo we will have to resolve kasi ganun yung tinuro sa atin okay now baka meron ka naman mga advice or payo doon sa mga next start uh, hindi lang as goalkeeper coach i mean normal coach uh, kasi marami ngayon mga deputy teachers na uh, like, like last january kung hindi lang nagkaroon ng ganitong sitwasyon 
may mga courses yung DepEd. Baka meron ka rin mga tips sa mga DepEd teachers, normal or starting coaches, mga nagsisimula, or mga yung ano na, yung mga coaches na ngayon na gusto matuto. Baka may mga tips ka para sa kanila. Umpisahan natin sa coaching. I mean, merong magagaling na player na pagdating sa coaching, masasabi natin may kulang. And meron namang mga player na hindi gaano naka-experience um, playing at an international level, pero pagdating sa coaching, um, maayos. Uh, may konsepto. Maganda yung approach. Um, so siguro, masasabi ko, ang coaching is Asha, it's it's uh, it's a commitment. Okay, it's a commitment. If you really wanted to improve your coaching, unang una you have to invest. Okay? Uh-huh. When we sab- pag sinabi nating invest, hindi lang siya monetary. Pag sinabi nating invest, you also have to invest time. Okay? Pag sinasabi yung mga coach na hindi ako pwede kasi wala akong time, well, wag ka nang mag-push through as coaching. Kasi sa coaching, um, sacrifices, ibang klase yung sacrifices dito. Dumadating ka sa punto na if you really have a team, if you're coaching a team, you're coaching a school, university, dadating sa punto na um, gigising ka ng maaga, okay? then uh, uwi ka late na, dumadating sa punto na hindi, halos hindi mo na rin nakikita yung mga anak mo kung, meron, kung, kung may family ka na. Okay? Um, ang coaching... Um, find time to con- to continue or to 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 go attend courses okay invest on coaching courses um napakaimportante siya kasi may mga binabatong uh, approaches okay and detalye ng mga development and at the same time um dun mo matutunan yung different methodology of teaching or coaching okay so, napaka-importante siya. Um, if you're aspiring to be a coach, okay, um, you all, you must have an open mind, okay, willing to accept different ideas, okay, and um, willing also to share ideas to other coaches, okay. It's a continued process. It's a continued process. Um, Ang football nag evolve okay? Every year merong bago. Laging nagbabago yung trends ng football. So, if you stop learning, then you will have the new trends and you will have, you won't have these new ideas in coaching. So, then again, um, commitment, sacrifices, invest time, Okay, on, on learning. Okay, um, sa panahon ngayon, um, wala masyadong coaching courses, pero there are webinars. Okay, na free, na pwede kayong maka-attend ng courses. Um, nandyan lang din siya sa social media, nagkakalat lang din siya. Okay, kasi we have to adapt, we have to adapt this um, new normal and um, through that webinars, dyan din tayo matututo. Right, sa mga teachers, um, I think um, you, kayo yung ano eh, kayo yung may mga materyales eh. Nasa inyo yung mga bata eh. Kayo yung may hawak talaga dyan sa mga bata. So pagdating sa grassroots development, nasa inyo yung mga, nasa inyo yung materials. Nasa inyo yung mga bata. Okay? So find time to really um, attend courses. Okay, um, para malaman natin yung different methodology on development of, on the development of um, football players. Okay, um, ang development kasi hindi lang yung sinasabing technical na aspeto lang. Meron tayong five pillars na aspeto ng development and natututunan yan pagdating sa coaching courses. Good, good. Um, maganda yung sinabi mo, Coach, kasi... Um, it's a total package, no? I mean, these coaches talaga, um, they have to learn that being a coach is really a hard thing to do. No? Um, importante that they have to engage 
they have to really devote time. Of course, learning, syempre, importante rin siya. Now, Coach, um, naging part ka kasi ng national team eh. Baka pwede mo naman i-share sa amin ano ba yung... Kasi baka meron tayo mga players dito, especially yung sa buong Pilipinas, no? Na nag aspire na maging national player. Meron ka bang tips sa kanila na may share no? Paano, paano, paano ma-achieve yung mga, mga goals nila na yan? No? Well, sa akin, simple lang eh. Um, pwede ko siyang sagutin na... Um, um, isang sentence. Um, well, sinabi ko nga kanina, kailangan committed ka. No? Um, next is, kung gusto mo talagang makarating ka sa level na, sa top level, international-wise, national team, professional level, dito pa lang sa youth stage. Okay? When you decided to play the sport, okay? when you decided to play sport, kailangan committed ka. Okay? And kailangan talaga you put, I mean, every every day you have to put in the hard work. Okay? Yung iba kasi, ah, ginaman ako nag-training. Pero, gawa yung tama na training. Okay? Every time you do a workout, are you doing it properly? Okay? Yung, yung, you, are, every time you do a workout, ginagawa mo bang worth it yung two hours or one hour na session mo? Paano ko masasabing worth it? You ha- are you doing the right job? Di ba? Ini-execute mo ba ng tama? Pinupush mo ba yung sarili mo? Sina-challenge mo ba yung sarili mo dun sa ginagawa mo? Okay? Kasi kung hindi mo laging ginagawa yan consistently, then you will not reach okay, doon sa professional level. Okay? For you to reach that level, you have to be consistent. You have to be mature. Okay? Gagawin mo yung tama whether may nakatingin sa o wala. Napaka-importante na. Okay? Kasi kung mag-execute ka lang pag meron nakatingin sa mag-execute o gagawin mo lang yung tama pag may nakatingin sa iyo. Wala din 'yun, mababali wala 'yun. Kasi may mga ibang araw na you're not doing it properly. If you're not doing it properly, you're developing bad habit. If you develop bad habits, dadating sa punto na pag nag ka, yung bad habits na yun mangyayari doon sa game. Okay? So consistency is very important. But make sure you work hard, be consistent, you have to be mature on all the things that you're doing, but you have to make sure that you're having fun. It's very important. Okay? It's very important. Oh, para sa lahat ng mga nanonood dyan, ha? huwag kalimutan, pwede kayong magtanong. ha. Meron pa tayong mga natitirang questions dito. So, uh, baka meron kayong gusto matu- ma- matanong kay Coach Noel, pwede nyo nang isend dito sa Facebook natin uh, para mabasa ko kay Coach. Alright? Um, maganda yung sinabi mo, Coach. No? I mean, uh, nabanggit mo, it's really the attitude of the player who will really bring him up. No? It's not always the coach. Uh, pero coach is really a factor. Malaking factor yes. talaga yung coach. Because he will guide the individual, that the group or the team, kung ano yung mga ba- pwede pa nilang matutunan na maganda or mas para mas dalo silang gumaling. Okay? So, importante siya. Ngayon, siyempre, pag nagtitraining ka, pag nakatingin lang yung tao, tapos saka mo lang gagawin, tama ka dun. I mean, are you really doing it for for him or you're doing it for yourself? Tama? Eh, in the real scenario naman, when you're playing, the scouts, hindi naman nila pinapaalam kung nandyan ka eh. Tama? Or an- ano ba yung trend ngayon, coach? Diba, usually, hitting meron lang video eh. Video na lang isisend eh. Doon ka na ina-analyze if you are a potential uh, player or not. No? Siyempre. Doon ba, Coach, um, paano ka pala na, ano, na-scout to be a player ng FPU? Nakalimutan ko bang dito kasi you are an FPU player. Eh. Mahabang istorya yon partner. Ay, ano ba lang? I-capture uh, um, mo. Third, third year high school pa lang ako. 
um, kinakausap na ako ng local coach ko ni Coach Romel na sinasabi na interested daw si Coach Hans sa akin. Okay? So, sa DLSU. Okay? So, noong nag-graduate ako ng high school, dumiretso ako, pumunta ako ng Manila, dumiretso ako sa DLSU, then nag-train for, for I think two weeks. Okay? Then kumuha kami ng exam. So, um, <laughs> medyo ano yung kwento kasi um, nalaman namin na hindi kami makakapasok sa DLSU because we failed the exam, blah, 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 blah. Too late. Too late. That was too late. Because I think it's June 6. Nag-start na yung pasokan ng ibang school. Okay? okay. So, afternoon we just stayed for two weeks sa dorm ng DLSU that time sa may Leon Ginto. And uh, nun nalaman namin na late na. So, ang kasama ko niyan is yung body ko, si, si Pino, si Rufino Almodal, na coach at saka teacher ngayon sa headset. Kaya siya yung kasama ko, nag-tryout kami. And we both failed those exams. And very, napakaano lang ha, na very, na-intrigue kami pareho kasi ako bumagsak sa math and siya bumagsak sa science. We're in, yun yung 40 namin pareho. No? I mean, hindi ko, parang hindi ko masyadong tanggap kasi ako bumagsak sa math and si Rufino bumagsak sa science. We're in, siya magaling sa science, ako, okay din ako sa math. Okay? So, anyway, well, uh, alisin natin yung story. So, after nyan, after nyan, si Rufino dumiretso sa FEU kasi nandun yung batch namin. Eh. Then ako, pumunta ako sa UP. Nag-tryout ako sa UP with Coach Bob Salvacion. They really need a goalkeeper that time. And kilala ko nung ibang player ng UP that, that time. Sila, si, ang pinakakilala ko ay si Paolo, um, si Paolo, si Paolo ang pangalan. Um, yes? Paolo yeah. Manuel. Paolo Manuel. Okay? So, so sila Paolo Misa, that time, yun yung mga player that time ng UP. And they really need a goalkeeper that time. It so happened na nung pumunta ako sa kanila, kasi late na nga, tapos na daw yung deliberation. So nagustuhan ako ni Coach Bob Salvacion, pero yun na, nung kinausap ko ni Coach Bob, katatapos lang ng deliberation ng um, athletes. Kung baga Wednesday sila nag-deliberate, dumating ako Friday. Okay. So ganun lang. Reason kung bakit pinili kong pumunta ng UP kasi nag-take ako ng opcat and pumasa ako ng opcat. Oh, nice, and yung nice. course ko, I know course ko as first choice ko is geodetical engineering and the second choice is civil engineering. Grabe ko, cha. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kwento lang. Pumasa ako sa opcat. So, binak- galing, galing. nagpakasakala ako baka, pum- baka tanggapin ako sa UP. So, ang, ang, ang naging kwento nun, um, nanghinayang ako kasi siyempre diniretso ko na lang sana yung UP di ba? from the start kung ganun lang naman ang, ang, ang mangyayari so ang advice sa akin ni Coach Bob that time is kunin ko muna yung sa UP ko na pinasa ko tapos kukunin nila ako second sem pero ang problema Coach kasi yung opcat yung opcat na pinasahan ko na judicial engineering is nasa Laguna Oh. UP Los Baños. So, doon ako mag-enroll for first sem. Tapos, um, tungunin ako second sem, lilipat ako ng diliman. So, ako napag-isip-isip ko lang, parang masyado na yatang mabigat para sa akin kasi kakit mo lang. For sure, college, wala ka pang alam. You know? Galing ka ng Galing probinsya, probinsya. Bagong, salta ka, bagong salta ka sa Manila. So, hindi mo alam kung pa- paano, pa- paano ka bumiyahe, pa- paano yung mga galawan. So, after that, pagkagaling ng UP, training. Pagkatapos noon, dumiretso na ako ng FEU. Dumiretso na ako ng dorm ng FEU. Then, kinabukasan, nag-train na ako sa FEU. Then, in two days' time, nag-enroll na ako sa FEU. <laughs> so, ganun siya kadali. Kasi nag-aantay din sila ng goalkeeper sa FEU that time. So, first year ako pumasok sa FEU, ako na rin yung starting keeper hasta hanggang five years of my playing career. So, yun. yun yung kwento, Coach. Galing, galing. Actually, nakakatawa yung ano mo, no? parang ganun-ganun ka, parang makdo. Ayaw. Oh, mas gumit. 
Oh, siguro pero, siguro coach ano din, yun din pero yun din uh, siguro coach yung nag-test sa akin when it comes to character, paano ko tatanggapin yung ganung sitwasyon na parang pinagkakaitan ka ng tadhana. Ano mo yun? Uh, diba? So, doon din siguro ako na push. Doon din siguro, doon din na ano yung sarili ko na i-push ko na mag na let's see, dito na ako sa FU, eto na, eto na yung para sa akin. Dito na ako mag-aaral, dito na ako maglalaro. Kaya pagdating sa time, pagdating ng UAAP, every time na DLSU yung kalaban namin, talagang, even Coach Hans masasabi niya, every time na DLSU yung kalaban namin, talagang hindi basta-basta nagpapatalo ang FAU that time. Except for the first year. Except for the first year na meron silang Christian Luzano. Christian Luzano. Okay, si Christian Luzano ang score nila that time. Okay? Um, lagi kami tambak ng first year. For after that year, second year, up to my fifth year, um, every time we play against DLSU, we always make sure that you know, we give DLSU a hard time. Uh, Coach, bali ang daming nanonood sa atin ngayon, no? Nandito si Apuesto Bueno. No? Uh, o oh, para nga pala sa lahat ng mga uh, nanonood, mga coaches, mga players, mga parents, uh, bili, tayo, bili raw kayo ng product sa kanya. Okay? Kasi maganda yung mga product niya, quality. Actually, hindi lang si Coach, ano, hindi lang kay Coach A. Sa lahat ng mga coaches, no, I mean, uh, I salute you guys. No, I mean, si Coach Noel, ganun din sa akin, ganun din. Sa, I, mean, I mean, lahat. Kasi uh, all of us are affected by this uh, pandemic. No, I mean, hindi lang naman kami, lahat tayo. No, I mean, let's, uh, let us support everyone. Okay, so, nanonood si Coach Jake Moralio. Okay, um, Samuel Ilagan, o mayroong anak to na goalkeeper galing Don Bosco, Makati. And then, uh, Maritesa Gabionza. Kilala, uh, matibay na talaga si Coach Football kasi matalino pa yan sa batch namin. Grabe. Jermalayo uh, from, Malayo from UE. Okay, uh, nonood sa atin. Anthony Albao. Okay, at uh, Amelia De Guzman, uh, public school teacher to coach eh from uh, mm -hmm. Marikina. So, marami, marami na nagsusupport, marami na nanonood sa atin ngayon. Coach, baka meron ka pang gusto ni share kasi mamaya, o gusto mo mamaya mo na ituloy kasi tapusin natin yung ano. Mamaya na sa last part. Sige. Meron akong ano, ito yung ano eh, parang trademark ng football life to eh. Um, mm -hmm. Naitanong ko na to kay Aris Bukalan. No? Kung bibigyan ka ng isang wish ni Jeannie, Ano ito at bakit? Isa lang, ha? Isa? Isang wish isa lang. lang? Dapat, di ba, tatlo pag genie? Isa lang. Bakit isa lang? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, well, actually it's, I mean, wala na ako ibang hihilingin kundi matapos na itong pandemic na to. Yun lang. Okay? Para lahat bumalik sa normal. Kasi talagang me, sasabihin ko, I'm, I'm really affected with this pandemic. Okay. Um, yung 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 trabaho ko, di ko nagagampanan ng talaga up to my maximum potential pagdating sa coaching. Kasi um, mas madami tayong magagawa kung nasa field tayo, eh. you yeah. know. And um, actually, hindi lang naman to para sa atin na football coaches. Lahat ng coaches, lahat ng coaches ng ibat ibang sports are affected. Okay, so yun. Um, sana matapos na itong pandemic. I mean, kung meron man genie dyan, um, yun yung wish ko. Um, matapos na itong pandemic para makabalik na tayo lahat sa, sa normal. And magagawa na natin yung, yung mga dapat natin gawin. And mas madali natin mamit yung objective natin, yung goal natin kung wala tayong limitation sa movement. And I think um, yung mga anak natin, yung mga anak natin, yung mga bata na nasa school, they deserve to be in school with the traditional learning. Okay? Um, para sa akin, iba pa rin yung learning na nandun sila mismo sa school with F2F. But of course, ngayon limited yung magiging learning because of, of, of this pandemic. So, yun lang. I mean, nagkakagulo lahat. Diba? Maraming nagko-complain, nagugutom. 
because of this pandemic. Now we're back to ECQ. Marami na po panic. So uh, this, these are cause of this virus and, uh, and this, this pandemic. So Ginny, please, tanggalin mo na tong pandemic. <laughs> oh, maganda, maganda yung ano, wish mo po sa amin, pangkalahatan. No? Uh, very humbling siya. Oh, um, para sa last question natin, Coach, no? I mean, uh, football life kasi is uh, pinagsama yung football sa life. No? It's a way of life. Football is a way of life. Para sa iyo, ano ang natulong ng football sa buhay mo? At ano pa yung ano ang football o ano nagawa ng football sa life mo? At maaari, yung mga ganyan. Well, um, una, kung hindi dahil sa football, hindi ako nabigyan ng opportunity na mag-aral sa magandang eskolahan. Okay? And I think sa lahat ng mga football player na galing sa mga probinsya, um, etong paglalaro ng football, okay, ito yung naging dahilan, ito yung naging way na para magkaroon ng magandang edukasyon. Okay? Um, malaking oportunidad na dahil sa paglalaro ko ng football, um, nakapag-aral ako sa FE. Yung isa. Dahil sa pag-aaral ko sa football, I was able to discover Nux. Nux. <laughs> I was able to discover um, different culture. Okay? Kasi through the through national team, nakakapunta ako sa iba't ibang bansa. Okay? Na walang ginagastos. Okay? Through football, um, na explore ko yung Southeast Asia. Okay? So, malaking bagay siya. Malaking bagay. Doon dahil sa paglalaro. Okay? Um, sa coaching side naman, okay? Dahil sa football, na-develop ko yung coaching um, capability ko. Okay? Through the help of Philippine Football Federation with Coach Maro and Coach Aris, binigyan nila ako ng opportunity na para i-improve ko yung yung coaching ko through coaching courses. Okay? From from C license, B license, A license, um, goalkeeping, level 1, level 2, um, from international coaching courses of goalkeeping for instructors, um, DFB coaching course experience, um, I would say na PFF with uh, Coach Maro and Coach Ares, sila yung malaking uh, naiambag sa development ko pagdating sa coaching. Okay? Now, because coaching is my bread and butter. Okay? So, malaking bagay yung coaching sa, sa pamilya. Okay? So, etong coaching yung yung tumutulong. Okay? Yung tumutulong sa akin to to tumutulong sa akin para makuha ko yung yung in-aim kong um, uh, future towards my family. Mga sa malaking bagay siya. So ngayon nga lang dahil sa limitation natin, um, dahil sa sinabi ko nga coaching lang yung coaching yung bread and butter ko ngayon, hindi natin siya nagagampanan ng gusto because of this pandemic. Okay? So football football is a way of life for me. Okay? If not because of football, wala ako dito sa kinalalaan. It's because of football, I was able to study in a good university. I was able to experience um, different culture. I was able to learn different culture. I was able to visit um, different countries, Southeast Asia. Okay? And that helped me grow as a person. That helps me mold my coaching okay, ability and also now since I already have that um, um, that knowledge okay, now this okay, will be shared to aspiring coaches and um, aspiring goalkeepers to play for the international level okay so my takes on my experiences um, 
walang iba kundi those challenges, difficulties that I experienced on my career. Um, I accept, tinatanggap ko siya as a uh, uh, challenge and uh, I took it in a positive way. Okay, so yun lang, Coach. Um, share the knowledge and uh, keep working and um, staying safe, of course. Galing, galing. Coach, uh, oh, para sa mga players, ha? para sa mga players, dapat pinakinggan niyo yun. Okay? Para rin sa mga coaches, sa mga bagong coaches, sa mga depth ed teachers na mga gusto matuto. Okay? Mga yun, sa mga nasa coaching line na. Pakinggan natin yung magandang sinabi ni Coach kasi lahat yun tama. Okay? So, very important sa atin na kung ano yung mahal natin, bigyan natin ng oras. Okay? It will uh, surely give back a lot of things. Especially kung tayo yung tumutulong. Malaking bagay siya. So, Coach, bago tayo magtapos, thank you very much for your time. I know... Um, you're into a busy sessions all throughout the week. Um, baka mayroon ka pang gustong i-share. I-shoutout mo na ngayon-ngayon yung mga taong nanonood sa'yo. Uh, yung mga sumusuporta sa'yo at saka nagmamahal sa'yo. Um, sa lahat, no? Sa lahat ng mga kakilala ko. Coaches, friends, relatives, family. Um, ito yung panahon na kailangan natin uh, magkaroon ng faith. Okay? Faith not just, hindi, hindi lang faith sa sarili, kundi faith. Uh, this is a test of faith natin sa God. Okay? Make sure to always pray. And this is also a test for trust. Okay? Kailangan nating matutong magtiwala sa, sa mga kaibigan, family, at sa mga um, nakapalibot sa atin. Okay, um, ito yung time na hindi lang yung virus yung kalaban natin. Ito yung time na we're also fighting for for the depression and anxiety. Okay, um, marami tayong mga kaibigan, um, relatives, friends na they passed away because of depression and anxiety. Okay, they passed away because of heart attack, um, maybe too much thinking okay, because of this pandemic na binudulot sa atin. Um, I'll take this opportunity also to to express my deepest condolences to the family of Mom Nina. Okay, my mommy Nina. Okay, hindi ko siya makakalimutan. I will never forget um, Mom Nina. Every time I visit um, PFF, laging siya yung mga kasalubong ko. And with that smile, okay? With that smile na sasalubong sa'yo and always ask you, kumusta ka na anak? Kumain ka na ba? I mean, every time nagpupunta ka, tapos ganyan ang maririnig mo with hugs and beso-beso with, 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 with mami nena. That really means a lot. And um, we will really miss you. The reason why parang nagiging emotional ako because before the quarantine, um, I was able to meet her and meron siyang sinabi sa akin na sana kung lumisan man siya, sana ma-appreciate yung ginagawa niya. Okay, so, Ma'am Nila, saan ka man ngayon? Kung naririnig mo man ako, um, masasabi ko na lahat ng inalagaan mo, lahat ng nakausap mo, nakasama mo doon sa PFF. Ina-appreciate ka talaga ng gusto. Ikaw yung mami namin sa PFF. Okay? You're the mother of PFF. 20 years of service in in the federation is not is not an easy job, okay? You've done your part. You've done your part. So I hope um rest in peace. Um sana sa man ngayon um sana um, patnubayan mo kami okay? patnubayan mo kami sa lahat ng mga ginagawa namin um, we really miss those um, 
time na nag-uusap tayo, walang katapusang usapan, always you push me to be you push me you push me to be a positive person. Okay. No matter kung gaano man kahirap yung dadating sa buhay natin, lagi mong sinasabi sa akin na think positively. Always look into the brighter future. There's a reason behind it kung bakit nangyayari siya. Thank you for that, Mamina. Thank you very much. And um, we really love you so much. Okay? We really love you so much. Um, hindi ko lang inaakala na yung last na message na yon before the quarantine na sinabi mo sa akin is mangyayari kahapon. Okay? So, we really love you. Okay? Um, malaking kawalan. Okay? When it comes to pag-aalaga sa mga coaches na na nagtatrabaho sa federation. Okay? So, to the family, um, tight hugs and um, stay safe. Stay safe. That's it. Thank you. For that. A shout out before ako mawala. Shout out Coach Mike. Shout out sa mga nanood. Um, thank you for staying with us. Um, sa mga nanonood pa, please um, subaybayan nyo yung YouTube channel ko. <laughs> And the coach Mike and the coach Aris. Okay, so please subscribe my YouTube channel. It's Coach Noel GK Marks TV. Um, goalkeeping uh, challenges, goalkeeping videos with um, goalkeeper interviews. Nakapost din doon. Um, soon to be posted or um, coordination exercises. Um, details on the goalkeeping techniques, fundamentals of goalkeeping. So, ipapasok natin yan. Kailangan lang natin ng time. Um, pasensya na, hindi po ako magaling mag-edit ng video, katulad ni Coach Mike sa kami, Coach Aris. I'm still in a process of, I'm still in a process of, you know, um, ginagamay ko pa yung mga, kung paano mag-edit, katulad ng ginagawa nila, Coach Mike. Doon naman tayo nagsimula, Coach. Eh. I mean, di ba? Thank so yun, um, enjoy natin. Okay? I mean, doon naman tayo kilala, mga Pilipino, di ba? Kahit anong problema na duma, dumating sa atin na, 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 na nagagawa pa rin natin umiti. Di ba? Resilience. Resilience. Okay? So, very, oh, doon tayo. Tested tayo dyan. So, yun. Thank you very much, Coach Mike, for guesting me. Salamat sa Thank football you, life. Okay? Um, Thank you, Coach. Yun lang. Maraming salamat. Salamat sa oportunidad. Thank you again, Coach. Uh, malaking bagay in behalf also of my partner, uh, Coach Aris Bukalan. No? Hindi lang siya nakasama ngayon. Okay. So, baybayan din natin yung Coach Aris TV. Uh, Aris TV pala. Aris TV. Okay. Sa akin naman, Coach Mike, MYK TV. Okay. Um, thank you, Coach Noel. Um, para sa lahat ng mga nonood, I hope may naroon, meron tayong natutunan kay Coach Noel. Uh, na, napaka- substantial na mga sinabi mo. Sa mga hindi nakakilala sa'yo, nakilala ka ng gusto. Okay? And... Don't forget to subscribe. Nakilala nyo na ako ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Hope to see you soon, bro. Yes, bro. Ingat, ingat. Bye. Thank you. Pag-play naman ako ng, pag-play naman ako ng commercial sa ending. Ah, nakagibang klase ka. May commercial, commercial ka. Papagawa <laughs> din nga ako doon sa kaibigan ko. Para mayroon grabe din yung, akong grabe yung din artist mo eh. Commercial katulad mo. Yeah. Okay yan, Coach. Thank you. Thank you again, Coach. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much sa Bug Wings. You know. <laughs> sa designed by JC Recto and sa logo Moto PH. Sa paggawa ng logo ng JK Marks Academy at the same time sa mga poster na sina, pinopost ko sa FB page ng JK Marks during my guesting. Um, e, ginawa po yon ni Logo Moto PH and uh, designed by JC.com Alright! Yun! Dahil mo! Kala ko, hindi mo babanggitin. Diyo ko na ngayon na ano eh. Okay, ay- ayos. <laughs> Good job, Coach. Thank you very much for your... Alright, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Leave. Leave na ako. Ah, sige.
Alright, so um, salamat po sa inyo lahat for watching Football Live. So uh, nagpapasalamat nga pala ako sa sumusuporta sa mga partners ng Football Live. Um, Decathlon Alabang um, for our equipments. Um, very affordable para sa masa. Check it out. Um, if you're going to buy sa Alabang, look for Nikolai. And nandiyan din yung Ludis Peanut Butter. Uh, napakasarap na product. Okay. Locally made. Okay. Nandiyan din yung Mountain Arrow. Okay. Kung gusto nyo naman yung mga sandals, pag gusto nyo mag uh, mountain climbing, pwede rin siyang pang city. And then, nandiyan din yung Mr. Crown. Okay. Um, para naman sa hair. Hair pomade. So again, thank you po sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Stay safe, stay fit, stay healthy. Okay? Salamat po.